the Lord, my beloved people all over the world, welcome, welcome, welcome to the word of God, Daniel and more. God bless you, God bless you. I thank God for your lives. I plead the blood of Jesus upon you, everyone that is watching me right now or that will ever watch me, watch this video. I plead the blood of Jesus upon you and your family. In Jesus' name, it's well with you, it's well with your soul, it's well with me and my family. In Jesus' name, amen. Yes, today, what is mommy showing in our garden? The word of God garden and more. Today, I'm going to show you one wonderful plant called wax God. Look at it, wax God. Mm -hmm. I was able to get two, two of these, uh, you know, plants, two of these uh, fruit. I call it fruit. Yeah, there's another one here. Mm -hmm. Two. Okay. And uh, look at the look at the vine. You know, it's viney. You know, this this uh, 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 Asian vegetable wax god. That was what how I bought it from uh, from eBay. They called it Asian vegetable wax god. God. Okay. So ah, uh, in fact. I've read about this God. I didn't really know much about it, but I I learned about a lot of the the um, health benefit. It has a lot of good health benefit. So I did not even relate it to God, the God that we 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 shake in the church. You know that you used to make music. I didn't know that. Of course, it's fruit like this. When they get matured and dry up, you can scoop up. You know, make a, a cut, scoop up things from there, and uh, you know, and they uh, make a music thing. You know, I could have brought one for the church. You understand? You know, God. You know, in Nigeria we have a lot of them. We call it sheke sheke. We put the beads around it, and we, you know, we use it to. I, I think I will put it in the video so that they can they can see it. So I never knew. So when I bought the seeds so many years back, I didn't plant them. I left it. So this uh, spring, I planted. I planted it. It came up and I said, you know what? I didn't have space. Everywhere was full. And I saw the God. I said, oh, I don't have any one. I have other plants. So then I took just that, that one that was left in the, in, the, in the container. I put it in this little um, five gallon. This is five gallon. You can check my uh, video. These are, this is what I can save to make my soil. Okay. So you can check my video. You see the plastic uh, nursery, uh, plastic uh, uh, pots for planting. Okay, this is the small one, five gallon. So I put it in this five gallon and I set it right there. And it was like, because I transplanted it from a, a small container, a small cell. And I said, oh, it, it doesn't look as if it's going to make it, you know? So, ah, but you know, I want time from time to time. So it started coming up, coming up. So it came up. So, and I, 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 I put it here. When I put it here, this little thing, look at, you see the, 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 look at. You know, it's like, it clings to places. You know, it went up to this uh, tree. This is uh, a banana. That time, this is winter, by the way. We are in December. December 2021. So this is my garden in December. So it went, that one was, you know, had a lot of green, uh, leaves and stuff this little thing you know it's so look it will just you know travel travel look at it. it's so long it goes from here look at it it will connect you know it connects itself look at it climbs it, it connected itself up there it was going and the flower was coming like this and the 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 the, the uh uh, 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 uh um, leaves were just you know cascading everywhere then he hooked my tomatoes, you know, two tomato plants were here. This is still the tomato plant. I didn't, you know, kill this one. I didn't, you know, um, empty it because of, uh, it's like a, a, uh, a support. He went into this one. Look at, he even went to grab my okra over there, <laughs> you know. So it was just there. And I said, you know what? I'm not seeing anything, but I see some flowers, some yellow flowers. And I'm, I said, oh my God. Maybe this thing is not working. Maybe this container is too little. So what did I do? I took my shade. 
guess what? I caught it. I caught it down. And I stopped watering it. I just stopped watering it. I say, I'm not going to get anything from it because it's bringing up so many uh, flowers and I'm not seeing any, no fruit. I don't, I don't get it. So I cut it off and I left it. Guess what? This wonder, something kept on growing. How did it grow? Sometimes I tell my children to help me water. They don't know I don't want to water it. They water it. I saw that. It just grows, even if you don't put a lot of water. So it's the, then I said, okay, okay. It's, there's life again. So I started putting water again. You know? Then it started growing. Then one day, I just came out. I saw a little, a little, uh, I, I saw a flower. You know, I saw the flower. And it has a little baby, baby, uh, you know, uh, 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 God. I said, oh my God. I said, you are kidding me. This thing is bringing out... Hello, and this was uh, in, uh, uh, I think, from October, November. I said, excuse me, it's going to be winter now. What is going on? Then I saw, that one came first. Then I saw this one. So I said, oh my God, there is hope in this, in this plant. You know, we don't give up easily. That was what I put on my guava uh, plant. We just give up. You know, I thought, oh, it's not going to work. But guess what? It's not over, except... Yahshua says it's over. Except Yahuwah, God Almighty said it's over. Except Yahushua, Jesus Christ, said it's over. It's not over. In our life, in everything we are doing, it's never, it's, don't give up so easily. Many times in this, my plant, my plant in my garden, I've given up on some, of some plants. I say, oh, it's not going to work. Don't give up. Don't give up. There's hope. That is why I like that uh, Job. You know, in my other, in my guava, you see the, the, the scripture there. In the Job, that talked about this same thing in Job 14 from uh, 7 to 9. He said, don't give up on the stump. You see a stump of, of a tree. It's, it, it's dry. You say, oh, it's dead. It's rotten. Nothing is going to come out of it. No. If God put a little scent of water, guess what? It will start to, to, blows, to board and blossom. That is what has happened to me with this God and without a... With my guava tree you understand i gave up we don't we don't give up no matter what situation your marriage don't give up give it to god and make sure you're worshiping right so that truly truly you will, be, you will be delivered don't give up on your children don't give up don't give up on you know your dream don't give up you have to have hope in our lord jesus christ it's our hope of glory christ in us the hope of glory so i'm just you know i said you know what i need I wanted to grow another one in spring. I said, oh, no, 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 no. I said, I must show this God. You understand? You know? So I'm going to harvest one today. But please, if this is your first time of coming across this channel, hey, come on. Why don't you be a family? Why don't you support? Why don't you be this a family? Come on. You know, give us thumbs up if you like this video and become a family. Please, please, please. God bless you as you do. And I just want to shout out at Queen's Corner TV. God bless you, Queen's Corner TV. Queen's Corner TV, a lot of wonderful things happening. Prayers are being heard. That, uh, uh, that channel has gone viral. The Queen's Corner TV. Things, wonderful things are happening. Prayers are being done there. Great, great things. Testimonies. So please check Queen's Corner TV. And I want to, you know, shout out at, at, at his word. The word of God, Garden Amor, and his word. We are all family. We are friends. We are brethren together you understand we all talk about the word of god he gives great you know powerful messages visit and don't forget my other uh, brethren the minister of music come on go there you know people that all they live their life for, for christ these are those people minister of music is word a uh, queen's corner tv doing wonderful things in our channel god bless you all and all of you that support me God bless you all, in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. This God, what is this God? What is it called? A lot of names. Because in Nigeria, when I was little, I used to see the God, because there are different kinds of, kinds of God. And I, I got some that I'm going to uh, plant. I don't know whether I have enough room to plant them, so that to show you that the God, they shaped like the one that we, we actually used to make music. You understand? It's shaped with, you know, the... You know, narrow mouth, a, a little bit of neck, and the, the God like that. And you can. So there are different uh, different types. 
they are just a round one they are some like calabash some like bottle you understand different uh shapes of this god you understand and it has so many names uh, some some people call it wax god uh, ash god winter god winter melon white god so many many other names that they call them and they are edible edible you can eat them right right now it's, it's edible you can cut them juice them saute them stir fry them uh when you want to drink them uh, it's advisable to make into juice in the morning don't forget to put a little bit of honey because it, it has a, a lot of a uh, calming effect and you know it suits you praise the lord so you you need you need, you need to put a little a little bit of honey there you drink it very early in the morning it's, it has a lot of uh, head benefit it has a uh, laxative uh, properties diuretic properties it has a lot of vitamins uh, you know calcium iron phosphorus vitamin c and it has a lot of nutrients it has fiber and it's very good for card cardiovascular health it helps with digestion it builds a uh, uh, metabolism it helps with cognitive uh, functions it removes toxins for the body it prevents flu and cold it prevents migraine you know it helps you to curb over eating of course when it has it has water and it has fiber when you eat of course it's going to keep you full so instead of overeating once you are full know to stop it enhances the high sight it's good for your skin it helps with weight loss of course if it has fiber when you eat you eat less and you'll be able to go to the restroom and those toxins those fat will melt out it helps to relax the body it, it helps to treat ulcers like i told you before it has cooling effect so because it has cooling effect um you have to put a little honey inside because if it has cooling effect which means you can get cold if you are susceptible to cold you know if you catch cold quickly so when you want to drink it just put your little honey okay so it helps with lung health and it increases uh, energy good for diabetes okay you can boil it you can steam it use the stir fry juice and had a uh, honey it's best to consume it early in the morning praise the lord and when you juice it you can store it in the fridge for a few days you can store it in the fridge for a few days so which means maybe three days or so you can drink it you make a lot of it and drink it okay then uh this uh you have to be careful when you drink don't drink too much of it whatever you do don't drink too much of it because it has a lot of uh, you know nutrients you understand so and uh you know if if, if you drink a lot it has a lot of uh, actually vital trace minerals so if it's too much in your body guess what it's going to make a you know the toxin level you know to accumulate in your system so just drink moderately everything you do moderate moderate okay if you have some kind of sickness talk to your doctor before you you drink it if you have asthma bronchitis go little on it easy praise the lord hallelujah so <laughs> it's a it's a used as a, a aphrodisiac it has an aphrodisiac uh, property. Okay, you can just slice it and put it on your on your salad. You see, Google, find out for yourself. You know, you can eat it fresh, you can eat it steamed, you can eat it cooked. Whatever you want to do, you can do. So long, when you do it, you take off the inside the, the seeds. Okay, if the seed is soft, you can eat it. So I just came to tell us about this, uh, this wonderful... Um, uh, uh, you know the way i look at it it looks as if it's ready you know it looks as if it's ready but i don't want to see look at um i'm told that you can harvest it you know there are different kinds so i found out that this one is winter this one is winter god okay and they said from late fall to uh, early uh, winter you can start um you know uh, harvesting it so you see it grows and it's it's just you know it just you know travels and just hang on <laughs> you know click on everywhere you know it just uh yeah so i'm gonna bring this one out I, can, can you see yeah let me bring this out because this one should be there okay let me okay, okay. see i did in my um in my uh what was it called uh, my um uh, uh oh that's my head look at it in my video it's heavy it's quite heavy it's quite heavy in my video my watermelon my baby uh sweet uh, sugar 
sugar baby, right? Yeah, I call it baby watermelon. Sugar baby watermelon. I showed you guys this uh, net that I bought from uh, eBay, you know, to catch the fruit. You, you see, you know, if it was hanging like this, I can tie it up, you, you know, so that it doesn't fall. Like this one is still hanging to the, uh, whatever they call it, to the stem. Okay, you see, it can hold it up. It will not break, so it won't fall. So I cut off the the black uh, tape that I used to hold it. You understand? I, I demonstrated it in uh, my uh, sugar baby um, watermelon. You can watch that video. Okay. So this is how you protect you protect it from uh, you know birds or some uh, you know any kind of animal that like to eat uh, you know our fruit. So I'm I'm gonna you know try it and. Uh, you know save the seeds too because this is very good i mean very any any uh, uh plant that did well in my garden you know i will i will keep the seed for anybody that is interested to buy them in my seed store so i'm, I'm going to uh, you know look at the way it is here black you know this is my first time so I, I don't really know much about it but i'm going to cut it and i'm going to eat it yeah it's very good for uh diabetes you know so many uh, uh for diabetic people, it's good for them. It has a lot of good health benefits. You just have to Google and check. You know, you can use it for for, uh, for your smoothie. You can just slice some. You can, you know, uh, slice the, uh, the the peel, you know, and then cut, chop it. And I think when we cut it, we'll see how the inside is. We'll cut it and show you how the inside is. Yeah, so it's, it's a very good, uh, something good for the heart, good for... Uh, to help you with uh, cholesterol it helps you with uh, diabetes it's good for diabetes it's good for your lung cardiovascular uh, health it's good for uh, weight loss for skin you know it's, it's it's good for your your sight it helps you you know with a uh, you know uh, uh, uh migraine headaches and uh, you know it has aphrodisiac uh, uh, property you, you know like if you can't go to the restroom of course it has lactate, a lactative uh, property. So yeah, so that is uh, what I want to share uh, uh, this uh, today, okay? So I still have one, but I, I just want to have that one first, then I have one left. And look at, even in the December, it's still, uh, yeah, look at some water that's coming from uh, rain, it has been raining. So all you do when you go around your, your garden, you can pour, you can, uh, you know, use whatever water. Look at, I have another one here. You can use it you know, to, to water it. Okay? So, yeah. So, I'm going to let it be. You see? It goes the tender. I don't know what they call those things. They just, they can, you know, hook it or to anything. Okay? It used to be on that, on this place. I cut it down. And guess what? It's still good. Look at it. It's still good. So, I will see what happens. I think, I don't think it's going to go back to uh, more fruit. Okay? All right, so this is what I, I got. So let us always, uh, you know, uh, believe in God, have patience in whatever we, we do. Faith and patience goes together. <laughs> when you see something and maybe you really want it, pray and give it time because, you know, uh, the word of God will speak. You know, once he sent out his word, that's what it, it is. So I thank God for what God did. This is a wonderful uh, a, a plant that, you know, I didn't give up on it. Thank God. Although I, I did, but you know, <laughs> when I saw little life that God put in there, I now key to it. And now I'm very happy I'm able to get two out of this. You know, after I, I cut it off, like I said, I cut it to the down. I cut, like I, I cut everything out except the, the, the stump that, that was left. And it grew again. <laughs> so I just thank God for your lives. Thank God for everybody that is watching me. And I pray that we cross our Red Sea into the new year 2022 safely in Jesus' name. God that helped the Israelites to cross safely, you know, on dry land. That same God is available today. He's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. He will help every one of you and your family to cross into year 2022 safely in Jesus' name. All the enemy that we see, you know, now, we will see them no more. Which enemies? Enemies could be sickness, disease, problem, tribulation. You understand? It could be trials. It could be confusion. It could be sorrow, discouragement, backwardness, stagnation, and all kinds of bad, bad stuff. It could be sickness. 
it could be that you are you are you are mourning or whatever whatever evil that we see today we will see them no more it could be bad people it could be demonic powers it could be anything that is not of god god almighty will take it rebuke it out of your life you know today and you will not go into the new year empty-handed you go with peace and joy and you will leave all those evil behind in jesus name i pray amen thanks for watching god blessings always shalom